Hello, it's Wednesday, so it must be Myrtle time. And as uh, as advertised in my weekly wrap-up video this week, if you watch that, I have some exciting Myrtle news for you uh, this week. So firstly, let me tell you the title of today's episode, which actually you'll have seen because it will be on YouTube. But I'll tell you anyway, so I'm going to call this one Myrtle on the Dance Floor. I can't remember who suggested that. It might have been Grace. Um, I can't remember who suggested that, but anyway, yeah, we're going to go with Myrtle on the dance floor for this one. So not a TV show or or movie, but a, a great Myrtle title. So the exciting Myrtle news then is, so I got contacted uh, in the last week or so by the publisher in the UK of Myrtle, the Myrtle Books, to say that the creator of Myrtle, G.T. Carver, um, is in the UK in early December, um, and would I like to go to an interactive Myrtle event uh, that he is running? Um so I said, yes, it, it turns out it's in London. It's very close to where I work um, and it starts just after I finish work. So it could be it could be better, really. Um, so, yeah, very much looking forward to that. I'm not sure if I'll be able to film it or not, but I will ask. And I'll certainly do a reflection video where I talk about it, even if I can't film. So, yeah, very excited about that. I've got no idea exactly what to expect, but hopefully it, it will be fun. And I'll let you know uh, at some point in the future what it was like. Anyway, right, let's get on to today's mystery then. So today's is the sixth mystery from this uh, Myrtle More Killer Puzzles or Myrtle Volume 2 as it is in the States. As always, there's links in the description for the video to places where you can buy these books. Um, so this... The mystery today is called The Tiny Island Murder Mystery. So let me read you a little introduction. Um, and if you've not watched one of these videos before, sorry, I should say, so, so Myrtle is a, um, a kind of logic puzzle type thing based around murder mysteries. So I will read you the clues and things like that in the introduction and then flip the camera and you can watch me solve it and shout at the screen as I inevitably make loads of mistakes and take ages to do it. Right, so... The Tiny Island Murder Mystery. Suddenly the ferry ran aground on a tiny island, halfway to the main Violet Isle, and Deductive Logico took charge. This has happened to me before, he said, and the most important thing is to make sure nobody is murdered. Um, it was too late. The captain was already dead. So the suspects are Castaway Sable, um, unkempt and unmoored. Sable has lived on this island for longer than she can remember. Six days. Um, she's five foot five inches tall, uh, left-handed, has hazel eyes and black hair. Um, Uncle Midnight, uh, so Uncle Midnight has been in a previous one, hasn't he? He's the, he's the wealthy guy. Um, when his dad died, he bought a desert mansion with a pool and retired. He was 17. Uh, so he is five foot eight inches tall, left-handed, has blue eyes and brown hair. Um, and Admiral Navy, the first son of an Admiral Navy, who was, the, him, who was himself the first son of an Admiral Navy. So Admiral Navy is five foot five inches tall, right-handed, has blue eyes and brown hair. So the locations where the murder could have taken place are uh, the lone palm tree, which is outdoors. A small bunch of coconuts hangs from it. Ironic, really. Um, the, uh, the shipwrecked ferry, uh, which is indoors. Uh, this ship uh, running around has almost doubled the size of the island. Uh, and a single headstone, which is outdoors. Uh, it has a message engraved on it, R.I.P. Beloved Butler Beryl, buried in a private ceremony. And the weapons are spoiled soup, which is medium weight. One bite of this soup and you'll croak. Ironically, it's frog soup. Frog soup. Um, an attack crab, which is medium weight. You might, not want, uh, you might not be afraid of this until you hear its claws are dipped in poison. Um, and a human skull, which is medium weight. Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him and now I'm swinging his skull at people. So the clues then are um, an attack crab was not found anywhere in the shipwreck ferry. OK, so that's a good clue. Admiral Navy held in his hands a human skull to which he quoted Shakespeare. So we know that Admiral Navy had the skull. Uncle Midnight was attracted to the person with spoiled soup. OK, so we know that Uncle Midnight didn't have the spoiled soup. Uh, and Castaway Sable was relaxing beneath a coconut, coconut as she had been for six days. So we know she was uh, under the palm tree. And the murder took place next to an engraved message. So the murder took place next to the tombstone. So I'm going to flip the camera now uh, and see if we can solve this together. OK, so here is our grid to help us solve the mystery. So let's go through the clues again and tick things off. So an attack crab was not found anywhere in the shipwrecked ferry. So we know that the crab was not in the ferry. 
Admiral Navy held in his hands a hewn skull to which he quoted Shakespeare. So we know that Admiral Navy had the skull. So we therefore know that he didn't have those things, the crab or the soup, and that other people didn't have the skull. Um, uh, Uncle Midnight was attracted to the person with the spoiled soup. So we know that Uncle Midnight did not have the spoiled soup. So therefore, Uncle Midnight must have had the crab. And Castaway Sable must have had the spoiled soup. See, we get somewhere already. Uh, right, next then... Uh, Castaway Sable was relaxing beneath a coconut. So, uh, Castaway Sable was by the tree. So, therefore, we know that the spoiled soup was by the tree. Okay. Uh, the murder took place next to an engraved message. So we know that the tombstone was the murder site. Okay, so it feels like we've got pretty good progress already. So the skull, by the looks of it, must have been on the boat because we know that neither of those two things were. So the skull was on the boat. So therefore... The crab, cross the phone, got me. so the crab must have been by the tombstone. Uh, right, this is where I get lost. So we can figure out where people were. So we're interested in the tombstone, aren't we? So who had the crab? Oh, so. Right, so I've solved it already. This is this is this may be the fastest one ever. So it was Uncle Midnight with the crab by the tombstone. Or headstone. Okay, let's flip the camera back and see if I'm right. Okay, so I'm saying midnight crab tombstone. So let's flip to the back and see if I'm right or wrong. So it was Uncle Midnight with the crab by a uh, by the tombstone, or, or indeed the headstone, which is what it's actually called. Um, he was adamant that the only reason he did it was to keep the party going. When a boat picked, uh, when a boat arrived to pick them up, they left him behind on the tiny island, which is how he became Castaway Midnight. But who would Castaway Sable become? I don't really get that. I don't really get that finale. Anyway, uh, I solved that one right. Go me. So. Um, so let's see so this video is going to go up this coming Wednesday which means that by the time the next video is due to go up the following Wednesday I will have been to the Myrtle event so I'm going to film now me solving uh, puzzle 7 uh, but we will see I may put that up in two weeks time from today because next week I may have a some sort of Myrtle video to show you I don't know we shall see anyway thank you very much for watching